Okay. Um, so I'm going to demo um, a prototype I made for a .github action to have uh, security advice on uh, dependencies present in a repo. Uh, so to start, this is uh, the repo. So for the moment, it's my, in my uh, GitHub profile. Uh, it's got uh, .github action tests. And um, so it implements a workflow uh, for people to um, copy their .github uh, slash workflow directory. And uh, this workflow will um, will be integrated in uh, in the repository CI. So it uh, triggers .dots advice on uh, on dependencies present in a requirement.txt or pip file in a repository, and this is done on a push event. Uh, so the workflow looks like this. Uh, so you check out the repository, set up Python, and then get an advice from .dots. Uh, so for the moment, I uh, hard coded the security recommendation type into uh, into this um, Tamos uh, advice command. So we can have only uh, recommendation uh, recommendations on security. So the goal of this action for the moment is to uh, block the merge of a PR if some uh, vulnerabilities are detected in the dependency versions we have in the repo. Um, so this action can be also tested locally for development uh, with a framework which is called ACT. Um, and if you run ACT locally, uh, you will be able to test the action uh, without having to push directly to the directory. So it's practical to test uh, locally. Uh, so for the moment, uh, for example, we have uh, this pip file. So it's test testing on itself, but uh, to import the workflow, we can uh, just copy the corresponding scripts and uh, action.yaml workflow in your repository. Uh, and normally, uh, I think we shouldn't have a problem with resolving the dependencies now. So uh, everything you see here, uh, so all the logs will be also present on the, um, on the workflow section on GitHub. So if I open the pull request right now to test it, uh, we'll be able to see the, the, the logs of, uh, of this execution. So it's installing the packages we have uh, in the pipi and pipfile.log. And normally, um, We'll be able to see that, um, that normally for this software stack it should pass, but um, next I can introduce a vulnerability and you will be able to see the logs uh, of uh, why exactly the dependency resolution failed. So here we have success. Uh, we got dot advice, so um, the CI will be will pass. But if I do, for example, um, if it wasn't here. Uh, if I have this requirement, I think uh, normally here we have uh, CV for this uh, requirements range. Um, You probably put a uh, package in wrong section in pip file. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Yes, that's Maybe. right. Sorry, you're you're right. It was on. The... Thank you. So I can also try to open a PR, uh, maybe with uh, this requirements, uh, so that you can see directly on the repo. that we can see directly the workflow. So we'll just create a PR. And 
Uh, so here you have the workflow which is executing. So we are getting uh, the advice. And here you have uh, the exact same log that uh, you had with Acts when I tested it locally. So I, I don't know if I specified it with this before, but um, as a user of this GitHub action, uh, you can configure your uh, yes your uh, branches to uh, prevent from being merged uh, if the CI does not pass. So this is the main goal of this action. But all, of course, you can also let it like this uh, just as an indicator. Um, okay, so here's a workflow failed. So we had uh, what we wanted. And you have a log of uh, the warnings that you have in the advice. And at the end, you will see also the warning corresponding to uh, the CVs that were found um, in, the, in the version you just specified for uh, this dependency relief three. Um, yes, so you have the explanation on why your workflow has failed. And yes, the CI does not pass. Um, so for the moment, that's pretty much it. And um, maybe we'll extend this to other recommendation types, but uh, as we're planning on doing this for the package repo specifically, um, for the moment, it's the implementation I have. Um, any questions? Yeah, that would be my question. If we, if we um, have a look at the... Um security scorecard related uh, justifications that uh, Gage just showed. Should we should we create a new recommendation type for everything scorecard related and basically take that recommendation type and put it in there as an as an very focused Amos advice for each and every pull request because um, CVE related information feels to me like ma pretty sure there's another bot uh, doing it out out there somewhere in the Git universe. Uh, so do you mean, should we prevent uh, PRs from being merged, for example, or just phase the workflow also if you have other kind of warnings? Uh, so yeah, yeah um, based on scorecards. Yeah, exactly. Um, maybe we need to have a look at the scorecard, the data that is provided by the scorecard. But um, for example, the um, project uses uh, CI and project uses a pull request mechanism, that scorecard information is, for me, a warning sign. That is one of my dependencies, which is not doing a good job on maintaining their project. That is something that we might point out to, to the pull risk. Yes. So my first implementation of uh, this action was to um to make the workflow fail on any kind of warning, but I found it a bit extreme uh, because it's uh, it's preventing pull requests from being merged. So I just chose to have um, all these vulnerabilities, uh, but we can also print some kind of logs uh, without preventing the PRs from being merged, just to inform people uh, maintaining the dependencies of uh, uh, information provided by scorecards on them. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe let's try to do that. Um, be an be an informational status on the on the pull request so that we don't block and really zoom into one of the maybe scorecard security related things or scorecard uh, project maintenance uh, kind of things. Maybe that gives good re good results, good additional information that you can't have by just looking at CVs. Yes, and in this case, I think we should have, uh, so I, I don't know if that's possible with GitHub Actions. I haven't checked, but uh, it, might, it might be good to have some kind of mes message printed directly in the PR, because uh, if the CI passes, no one is going to look at the workflow logs. Uh, exactly. I mean, if, if you have the valid sign, yes. nobody will open it. Yes. Uh, yeah, so that, that in in addition to the status, we also bring back a comment into the pull request. That is what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, let's let's experiment in the next uh, iteration because it feels like uh, uh, same for the search UI. It feels like uh, good, valuable information, but there's a lot of them. So we really need to focus on a specific, very interesting information that we're going to present. Otherwise, it will be just blurred in all these information. I like that. that that's a good integration. Um, if I if I recall correctly, that is something that uh, we have had for for the beginning in in the very very first iterations. Also, um, I think it's valuable because it's the right place. We want to push all that information to the developer into the pull request. I like that. Cool. Any other comments? Any other um, questions? One oh, comment. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Frida. Uh, if I understood correctly, so the, the comment uh, to pull request will be a link to dot search UI to show more information, right? So it yes. is all together. And regarding uh, scorecards and, and security, uh, it might be breaking uh, the the guidance, right? Because uh, if a user configures that uh, he or she wants to have secure recommendation types, you know, we should act as a gating service. Like we say, uh, this is secure and this is not secure. Uh, it might worth to check uh, scorecards if there is something that would block uh, like hard stop using uh, some packages based on security checks uh, done by scorecards. Mm -hmm. And in that case, it can become directly uh, blocking as in case of CVE. Mm -hmm. Exactly right, because we are getting the recommendation type from the Toth YAML that is part of the pull request, right? So the user basically said what the user wants. Um, good point. Yes, Let, let's see how that evolves. Uh, Pep? No, actually, my question was Frida's first comment. Clarification is if there will be a, a link to the search UI, because I think it's the more visual thing. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Thanks, Maya. Thank you. Recording has.